Welcome to Chapter by Chapter. We're encouraging you to read a chapter of your Bible every day by whetting your appetite with a summary of a succeeding chapter. Today is episode one in 1 Corinthians. Boats are made to be in the water, just as long as the water doesn't get in the boat. Likewise, the church was made to live in the world, but she must be careful not to let the world live in her. Corinth was a powerful church in a perverted city, but some of the city's perversions had permeated the church. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul confronts the contamination. He begins by acknowledging the good that existed in Corinth. Despite their sin, the Corinthians were still saved. They also possessed spiritual gifts. Later, Paul will correct the abuses that were occurring in the exercise of these gifts, but he never discouraged their use. The Corinthian church was a divided church. Cliques had crystallized around favorite teachers. Baptism had also become a barrier to unity. Methods of baptism still divide the church, yet it's not that big a deal. Duncan is not worth dividing. Paul had baptized very few new converts. The emphasis in his ministry was on preaching the gospel, not baptizing. The Jews were impressed with power, the Greeks with philosophy. The cross and the church are an affront to both. That an almighty God would subject himself to death appears foolish, even wimpy in the eyes of man. God has gone out of his way to save us in a manner that insults our pride. And look who he has chosen to be his followers, not the earth's elite, but the outcast and outlaw. Jesus saves the worst to show off his grace. He's chosen us to show just how low his grace will go.